arms relax, legs relax, mind relax, body relax. And although your mind and body becomes more and more relaxed with each and every breath you take, you will find it amazingly easy and fun to walk and talk. The more active, animated, fun and funny you become, the better you feel. The better you feel, the more active and fun you will be because you will know subconsciously. The audience appreciates your imagination, creativity, and your sense of humor. But for now, let's go twice as loose, twice as loose, twice as relaxed. The floor is a giant magnet pulling you down. Sleep now, deep sleep, deeper than before. Take another nice deep breath in through the nose to capacity. Slowly exhale and imagine before you now a small tropical island with a turquoise blue sea and a single strip of white sand. Imagine now you're sitting on a beach looking out over the water with your right hand now. With your right hand, reach down into the sand now. Grab a handful of sand and lift it up. Feel the sand sifting through your fingers. Examine the warmth and texture. Just then you look out over the water. You see a happy, friendly seagull with a rose in its beak flying towards you. Extend your right hand high into the air now. Extend your index finger. The seagull will fly towards you and land on your index finger. There, take the rose from the seagull's beak and smell it. It is absolutely the most beautiful smelling rose you've ever smelled before in your life. Flick your finger, the seagull flies away. Just then you notice next to you a large, fluffy, comfortable pillow. Lean over, sleep now. Deep sleep, deeper than before. In a moment, the people on stage only are going to return to their normal waking state, feeling wonderful and refreshed, perfect in every way. Oh, look, she's still got the flower. <laughs> Zero, feel the energy flowing into your feet. One, through the body, two, eyes starting open. Three, wide awake, feeling great, eyes open now. Hey, I got a chair that opened up. Why don't you go grab that chair? All right, people in the audience, if the person next to you's eyes are closed and they're all like zoned out, hold your hand up, thank you, right there. Everybody else, good. If I don't ask, I find them under the chairs afterwards. Excellent, this is when the show really begins. Let me turn the music off and we'll get the show started properly. This is when the fun starts. This is when the laughs begin. So, ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice warm round of applause for the stars of the show? Give it up. Oh, let me think. Where was I? Let me start with you. I'm going to ask you a quick question. I want you to be 100% honest with me. At this very moment, do you feel hypnotized? But please be honest. No, no, of course not. Most people will say no. Hypnosis doesn't feel like anything. Usually you won't know if you're hypnotized or not. A lot of people are surprised to find out they can be in their normal waking state and still be in the hypnotic trance. I'll bet you feel pretty relaxed. Is that right? Yes. All right, let's try something just for fun. I'd like you to take my right hand. I'd like you to stare intently into my left eye. I'd like you to relax your arm. Your mind, relax your arm, your wrist, your mind, body, and thoughts. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose to capacity. Slowly exhale in. Now, this is dropping, drifting, arms relaxed, legs relaxed, mind relaxed, body relaxed, going deeper and deeper with each and every breath you take. That's a good one. <laughs> I know, this is weird. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No. Have you ever been hypnotized before? What's your name? How are you doing? Relax your arm. Relax your arm, your wrist, your mind, body, and thoughts. Keep looking at my left eye just for a second. What was your name? Sleep now, deep sleep, dropping, drifting, arms relaxed, legs relaxed, mind relaxed. Take my hand, sleep now, deep sleep, deeper than you've ever been. Take my hand, relax your arm, sleep now, deep sleep, dropping, drifting. Alright, touch on the forehead, wide awake, feeling great, head back to your seat in the audience, you're not that focused. Sleep now, deep sleep, drifting, dropping, letting yourself go, arms relaxed. This is weird. How are you doing? What is your name? Sleep now, sleep, take my hand again, sleep now, deep sleep. Okay. Take my hand and sleep now. Deep sleep, drifting, dropping, arms relaxed, legs relaxed, mind relaxed, body relaxed. Going deeper and deeper with each and every breath you take. Going deeper and deeper into relaxation as I speak to the audience and at all times get as comfortable as you care to be. I guess that's it. Yeah. All right, people in the audience, I know what you're thinking. Most people are wondering if I, you know, if I paid them. Here's what's happened. Earlier, I planted a post-hypnotic suggestion. <laughs> it looks like a good frat party up here, doesn't it? <laughs> I planted a post-hypnotic suggestion that if I said the word sleep, they would become very relaxed. This is what you see. In a moment, it's going to be okay to applaud and cheer. Make as much noise as you want. Uh, it won't bother them because right now I'm going to plant another post-hypnotic suggestion. Talking to everybody up here with me. Any sound you hear from the outside world, such as applause, laughter, or cheers, will have the following effect on you. 
It's going to cause you to immediately drop deeper into relaxation than you've ever been. This is your sleep position. You will immediately go to the sleep position if I say that word. And although your mind and body becomes more and more relaxed with each and every breath you take, you will find it amazingly easy and fun to walk and talk. The more active, animated, fun and fun you become, the better you feel. You will know subconsciously the audience appreciates your imagination, creativity, and your sense of humor. All right, people in the audience, from this point on time, the more noise you make, the more fun we're going to have. So let's send them deeper in hypnosis with applause and cheers. Give it up, people! Louder, people! Now, at this point in time, one of the more interesting effects of hypnosis is that any suggestion I give can seem very real to these people. So I'd like to send these folks on some guided hallucination. I'm talking to everybody up here with me. If you could use one million dollars, if you could use a cool million dollars, nod your head now. If you could use a million dollars, yes, I'm sure you could. Well, here's what's happened. You have been entered into a fishing contest. Catch and release will not harm the fish in any way. And if you can catch one fish, you will win one million dollars. Right now, I'd like you to notice you're becoming very happy, very excited. You really want to win this one million dollars. I'd like everyone, close your eyes, sit up straight now. Sit up straight and close your eyes now. Close your eyes, sit up straight, take a nice deep breath in through the nose to capacity. Slowly exhale, close your eyes and imagine before you now a small bay leading out into the water. Imagine now you're sitting in a tiny rowboat. Hold both hands out and close your eyes now. Hold both hands out in front of you parallel to the ground now. Let's grab those oars and quickly row out into the middle of the lake now. It's a great day to be on the water. You have friends on shore. They're applauding for you. They're cheering for you. One million dollars. Let's row twice as fast so we get out there today. Very happy. There, you're out in the middle of the water now, and at your feet is your favorite fishing pole, bait and a bobber. Grab that fishing pole, bait and a bobber, give it a shake. You're out in the middle of the water now, grab that fishing pole, bait and a bobber, give it a shake, get ready to cast out, and cast out now. <laughs> there you go, keep your eye, what the heck's going on here? Keep your eye on the bobber. You were very happy, very excited before, but just then you become 10 times as excited, 10 times as happy, because there is a large dorsal fin swimming towards your bobber. This could be your big chance to win $1 million. Play the line, watch the bobber. Just then, the bobber goes down, set the hook, and reel it in as fast as you can. It's a huge fish. It's pulling the boat around. It ju jumps up into the air, down into the water, up to the boat. Grab your net, net the fish. It's in your net. Hold it up over your head, show it to the people on shore. They're applauding for you, they're cheering for you. One million dollars, very happy, very happy. Until the line breaks, the fish jumps out, it's gone. No, 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 no. Oh my God, you just lost a million dollars. You were very happy, very excited before. But now you're bummed, you wanted the money, it's just plain gone. There's nothing you can do. And if I touch you on the shoulder talking to you, how did the fish get away? just fell away. How big was that fish? Huge. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? Touch you on the shoulder talking to you. Are you bummed? What are you going to do with the money? I don't know. <laughs> Can't help you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I can cheer these guys up. Talking to everybody up here with me, right now you're noticing you're very thirsty. Fortunately, at your feet is your favorite beverage. Close your eyes, reach down, pick up the bev your favorite beverage, drink it down now. You're really thirsty, this is gonna taste really, really good going down, but you are noticing now, somebody put something in your drink called giggle juice. It causes you to start laughing uncontrollably now. The more you laugh, the harder you laugh, the harder you laugh, the more impossible it is to stop laughing. This is by far the funniest thing you've ever experienced before in your life. Until just then, it kicks in, it becomes ten times as funny, you laugh ten times as hard. You look out over the water, there's the fish, it comes to the surface with a clown face and a big red nose and buck teeth. He's looking at you, he's laughing at you. People, this is the fish that just cost you one million dollars. Let's all give him some sort of gesture to show him what we think of him now. Show that fish what you think of him, stupid fish anyhow. Just then, you notice next to a large, fluffy, comfortable pillow. Sleep now, deep sleep, deeper than before. Send them deeper with applause, people. Arms relaxed, legs relaxed, mind relaxed, body relaxed. 
I think from the audience, at this point in time, they're not actually asleep. Physically, they're so relaxed that mental images seem very real. You get the physical response to the mental image. I always find it interesting, but there is no word in the English language for hypnotic sleep. So as a hypnotist, we can say sleep instead. All right, once again, let's send them deeper with applause. Make some noise. All right, let's have a little more fun. Talking everybody up here with me, this is an amazing rowboat you're sitting in. An amazing rowboat. Everyone, close your eyes, sit up straight now. Close your eyes, look behind you. You will find this very surprising. Giant rocket engines are about to pop out of the back of your boat. Watch this. These rocket engines are going to pop out in three, two, one. Whoa. Look to either side, out pops wings. Up in front of you pops a steering wheel. <coughs> Grab that steering wheel with both hands now. Here's what's just happened. Your little boat has just turned into a rocket ship. And in a moment, it will blast off and take you into outer space. At all times, you're going to be happy, safe, secure, having a great time. But let me tell you a little bit about your ship. It is extremely powerful. Massive G-forces and turbulence will not knock you out of your chair, but you're going to have everything you can do to hold on. This will be one seriously bumpy ride. So let's put those seat belts on now. Check your instruments, check your consoles, everything looks good. Grab that steering wheel, hold on tight. Once again, you will not fall out of your chair, so hold on tight. You're going to have everything you can do to hold on, because we are about to blast off in three, two, one. Higher and higher, faster and faster you go. Hold on tight, up ahead, bumps. Higher and higher and faster and faster you go. You look off to the right, you see a 747 full of people. They're waving at you. They can, oh sure, that's all wave and say hi. Higher and higher, faster and faster you go till finally you break free of Earth's gravity. You're now totally weightless, floating around the cabin. You see the stars, the moon, the sun, the planets. But you are noticing now, it was a nice 72 degrees. It's getting very, very warm in your cabin. It's up to 80, 85, 90, you're sweating. The clothes are sticking to you, very humid, very muggy, very sticky, but up to 95, warmer than before. Get comfortable as it goes to 96, 97. Great news, <laughs> you will stay appropriately dressed as it goes to 98, 99. Great news above your heads, an air conditioner switch. Hit that air conditioner switch now. Nice cool breeze is going to come up from between your feet and feel the cool breeze as it goes back down to 80, 70 and 60. You're now very cold. You're shivering, goosebumps all over your body. Down to 50 and 40, colder than you've ever been before. 30, ice is forming. You can see your breath shivering even more violently down to 20, 10. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, people, this is dangerous. Quick, your best chance for survival. Cling to the person next to you for warmth now. Cling to the person next to you for warmth now as it goes to minus five, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. Oh, you got nobody to cling to. Quick, hit the off button, hit the off button and... Goes up to a nice 72 degrees. Once again, comfortable, warm, safe, and happy. You look out the window, you see you're about ready to land on the moon with a rather severe bump. Hold on tight, we're going to land on the moon in three, two, one. You're now on the surface of the moon, you see the black skies, the white mountains, moon village, moon men. Great news, at your feet is a large pile of moon money. Somebody's left it here for space travelers. Let's reach down, pick it up, count it up, see how much we got. Wow, this is a lot of money. One thing you know about moon men, though, they cannot be trusted. So right now, hide that money in two or three places on your person where nobody will ever find it. Put it in a couple places where people have absolutely no business being because we all know you cannot be too careful as you travel the moonscape. There we go. Nobody's going to find it there. Strange thing about moon money after humans touch it, about two seconds later, one you turns to ice cold and wet water and slush snow and ice there's a big chunk of ice stuck in there the only way to get it out stand up and shake it out now you are cold you are wet there's snow and water and ice it's out you're warm and dry have a seat back down where you were and 
Sleep now, deep sleep, deeper than before. Send them deeper with applause, people. Drifting, dropping, wonderfully and deeply. Wonderfully and deeply. And at all times, get as comfortable as you care to be. <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> all right, people in the audience, I think the next thing I'd like to do is give you a sense of how we use hypnosis therapeutically. Hypnosis is a very powerful tool for personal growth and change, you know, things like lose weight, quit smoking, relaxation. Um, like I said, very powerful tool for personal growth and change. Talking to everybody up here with me, in a moment, something about your personality they would like to change is going to occur to you. Maybe you want to lose weight, maybe you want to quit smoking, maybe you have a fear or a phobia that you would rather not have. Maybe you want to be a better student, better athlete, whatever it is. That pattern of behavior that by changing would enhance the quality of your life is going to occur to you now. I'd like everyone to close your eyes, sit up straight. Look before you're going to see two full-length mirrors. Look at the mirror on the right. In the mirror on the right, see your reflection with that pattern of behavior. See what it is that you would like to change and that by changing would enhance the quality of your life. At your feet is a hammer. Pick up the hammer, gently hit the mirror once. When you do, the mirror will disappear. That part of your personality will disappear either now or when you are ready. Look at the mirror on the left. See yourself free of that pattern of behavior. Sense the happiness, sense the joy. Sense the confidence in yourself and your relationships with others. You float up in the air through the mirror and become that person. Feel the happiness, feel the joy. Know in your heart of hearts that you can now more fully experience the joy of life. A more happy, fulfilled person, you are that person now. You will be that person when you leave the stage in a few minutes. But for now, sleep now. Deep sleep, deeper than before. In a moment, you're going to return to your normal waking state, feeling wonderful and refreshed, perfect in every way, better than you felt in a long, long time. If people laugh and joke with you about what you did on stage, you're going to laugh and joke back. This was an interesting experience. You will take the show in the manner it was intended, which is good, clean, fun, very funny, totally harmless. If anyone other than myself says the word sleep to you, it will have no further effect on you whatsoever. And in a moment, you're going to return to your normal waking state, feeling wonderful and refreshed. Zero, feel the energy flowing into your feet. One, through the body. Two, eyes starting to open. And three, wide awake, feeling great now, better than you felt in a long time. People in the audience, nice warm round of applause for the stars of the show. Thank you, you guys. Head back to your seats in the audience. All right, people in the audience, I'd like to leave everybody with a parting thought. I know what you've just seen is sort of strange even looks fake, but think about this. Einstein once said that the imagination is more important than knowledge. How do you feel? Because every human achievement starts with the ability to envision it. I believe that your thoughts are you your feel? reality. If you think you're happy, you are happy. If you think you're sad, you're sad. If you think you're in love, you're in love. Just like to leave everyone with a parting thought that it is entirely possible to pick your dreams and live them because our thoughts are indeed our reality. That's my show. That's my message. Thank you and goodbye. You guys have a great audience.